This is a video showing how to use the calculator to do calculations on timed events such as those produced by PhotoGates. First, I'm going to go to my interface and connect my PhotoGates. Once I've connected my PhotoGates to my interface, I'm now going to go, go to my timer setup. And I'm going to configure this as two PhotoGates. And when the timer set up, I'm going to choose two photo gates with a single flag. I will have selected time between gates, speed and gate for one and two, and we can actually um, deselect acceleration between the gates because that's the calculation that we're going to have the students calculate. We'll click on next. We'll assign the proper flag lengths and we'll have a, a name for this. And we'll go ahead and click on Finish. Once I've done that, I can now close down my timer setup. And now I'm going to create a new page. And now I'm going to create a table display. Within this table display, I'm going to display the speed in gate 2 and the speed in gate 1. Also to help out with calculations, I'm going to insert the time between gates. I'll do that by uh, inserting two more columns. On this third column, I'm going to select the time between gates. And on this last column, we'll leave that open because that's where we'll create our calculation. Before I create, our calcula create the calculation, I'm going to collect a dummy run of data. So I'll do that by clicking on record. and by breaking the gates in their orders. So you can see that the times at which the speed in the gate is collected happens at two different times. So let's try to create a calculation that acts between speed 1 and speed 2 to calculate the acceleration. I'll go ahead and do that by uh, clicking on Select Measurement and going down to Create New and under this category I'm going to uh, select calculation. Once I've done that I'm going to name my calculation and I'll call this ACC for acceleration and under units I can either hit tab or click on the next cell and we'll do this in meters per second per second. So once I've done that I now have a field on the upper part of this to calculate the acceleration so we'll go ahead and do that by subtracting the speed and gate at point two I'll select this value by right-clicking, going down to Insert Data, and selecting Speed in Gate 2. I'm going to subtract from that the Speed in Gate 1. I'll select that measurement by right-clicking, going down to Insert Data, and selecting the Speed in Gate 1. I'll now close my parentheses, and I'm going to divide by the time between gates. So again, after putting the dividing symbol, I'll go ahead and uh, right-click insert data, and include time between gates. I've now completed my calculation and I'll hit return. So you'll notice something curious. Because these two speeds occurred at two different points on this table, the calculation was not performed. We can also change the alignment of the values within this table by going into the settings for the table. And we can change the data options Instead of aligning by uh, having the data alignment mode be aligned by time, we can have it aligned by index. So this now puts all these values on the single line, but again, the calculation is not performed. The way that we can fix this is by going over to the calculator on the left-hand side. Within the calculator, there are several different calculation modes. On this portion of the graph here, or portion of the display, we have the stopwatch here. So please take a look at what happens when we change the mode from a non-timing calculation mode to select the timer mode. Once we've done that, then the program is able to select the data across times that these events occurred and is able to perform the calculation to generate the acceleration data that we're looking for.